Hello and welcome to my video lecture on the use of access keys in your HTML forms. Uh, here I have an index.html file. Uh, here's my HTML elements, my header elements, my body elements, uh, my header, uh, a div tag just to show some information, and my form. Inside my form I have labels and I have input controls. And what I want to do is I want to allow users to do uh, simple things like if they hit um, Alt F, right, when you're in a uh, Windows environment, will make the, uh, the, the menu system uh, available. So I don't have to actually click, I can just use my Alt keys to navigate around. And as you can see, uh, when I hit Alt, uh, it enables my, uh, my menu system and it's typically associated with underlined letters. So if I hit P here, that would cause the P, uh, the menu item that was underlined P, uh, to become activated. So I want the same kind of functionality in my uh, web form. So what I do uh, to, uh, to make that happen is I go to my input controls and I add in an access key attribute. I set that equal to a letter. In this case, it'll be uh, F because this is associated with my first name control. I'm going to add in an access key attribute and set that equal to L for my last name. And in my last uh, email input control, I'm going to add an access key that's associated with the letter E. So I'm going to save that. I'm going to bring up my web browser, and if I hold down uh, my old key and hit L, it automatically moves. I don't have to click on it, E, and the same thing works with F. But I don't have my underlines, so what I want to do is I want to return um, to my text boxes and my, my labels. Actually, I want to change the label so that the label actually shows um, the F as being underlined, and I'm just going to do that with an underlined tag. I'll just and my underlined tag, just a U tag, uh, U element, and I'll do that for uh, the other letters that I'm using for my access keys. It is a very small uh, thing, you may say, uh, to do this, but believe me, for people who need assistive technologies, um, this can help greatly. So I put my underlines, and now when I save this and I go back to my web browser, now you can see the underscores underneath the, uh, the letters so that as I tab around, it makes more sense. So that's how you uh, use access keys to enhance your, uh, your web forms uh, and the use of underlying uh, elements uh, to make people aware that you actually have access keys. And now you can use them on your web pages.